Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and today we're going to be looking at copying and pasting attributes, effects, and settings to multiple clips in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. Now, as you can see currently in my timeline, I actually have a segment from a previous tutorial video I made uh, in which I talk about exporting in 4K from Final Cut Pro 10. If you want to check out this tutorial, I have a link listed in the description as well as an annotation on screen right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see how this is done. Now, as you can see currently in this example here, I have two different clips. I have this clip right here, which is the raw clip, and then here I have the edited clip. Now, as you can see, there's a huge difference between the two. We have a change in cropping as well as color correction. But other than that, these two clips are originally exactly the same. The camera is placed in the exact same spot. Uh, lighting is the same as well. The only difference is that I press the start and stop button between them. Therefore, the uh, effects that I apply to this clip do not automatically apply to this clip right here. But currently in my timeline, I have these clips laid after each other. Uh, so as you can see, we cut right from this first clip to the second clip. Now, if I want this to be a smooth transition, of course, the changes I made to the first clip would have to be uh, seen in the second clip as well. Now, how do I do this? Well, there's one of two ways. Of course, first of all, I can manually apply the same uh, settings here. So I can just recrop this and color correct it and sort of try and get it as close as possible to this clip. But really, that doesn't work if you're playing the clips uh, side by one, uh, one by one. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the attributes to the second clip. So how do we do this? Well, first, you're going to select the clip from which you want to uh, copy the attributes or settings. So in this case, that'll be the first clip. And we'll go ahead and press Command C. Now, this is the shortcut for uh, copy on Mac OS here. And then we're going to go ahead and select the clip to which we want to uh, copy these attributes. We're going to go and select it. And instead of pressing Command V for paste, we're going to press Command Shift V. And this brings up this little menu right here, which gives us the option to, as you can see, paste attributes. Now, attributes are basically any changes or alterations you made to your original clip. Now, as you can see, not only do you have the option to copy the video attributes, you have the option to copy audio attributes as well. Now, in this particular clip, I'm using external audio. So as you can see, the in-camera audio is turned down, uh, hence the change in volume right there. So from here, we can go ahead and manually select what attributes we want to copy. Now, in this case, the only things that have changed are the uh, color correction and the transformation and cropping. But we'll go ahead and select everything just to be safe, which we can do by pressing the top button here. And we'll do the exact same for the audio attributes here. And from here, we're going to go ahead and select paste. And as you can see, they now look identical. The transition between them is seamless, of course, other than the cut. The cropping and colors are identical. And this really saves you a lot of time in editing as you're able to... Uh, to transfer these settings and changes in exposure or color correction or cropping instantly like that to the next clip in your timeline. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll have some more videos listed in the end of the video. Thanks for watching.